A PM zip file, or to give it its full name, a Power Music zip file, is just a file which contains all the information needed to display a particular piece of music. It can contain a chord sheet, it can contain pages of sheet music, and it contains all the tags, indexes and categories of that particular song. If I just close that down, if we go to File, and we go to Import Song from a PM zip, PM zips are stored usually on your local computer or it could be on a USB pen drive. So we'll browse to where I've got some PM zips in here. I've got some in my documents and here's a couple here. So let's just choose the first one and open that PM zip. Confirm I want to do that. What I now get is a list of the songs that are in the PM zip and I can move them one at a time. Or I can select them all and move them all over. And if I've put something that I don't want to put over, I can bring it back that way there. So this is a list of songs that will be imported into Power Music from the PM Zip. I'll just select this one as well and bring them all over. Click on Import. Import finished. And then it gives you the option of doing another import. I'll say no to that. It'll ask me if I want to open all the songs. I'll say yes. You'll notice we've got two copies of Amazing Grace because one is a sheet music version and one is the chord sheet version. And here are the other songs which I have imported. And you'll notice that, for instance, for this one here, we've got sheet music, we've got chord sheet, and if we go to the lyrics, we've got the lyrics, and if we go to tags, we've got all the tags. We've got title, we've got melody, we've got tempo, and we've got all the other information here, including if it's a worship song, you would have Bible references. So that's what a PM zip is. You can import as many or as few songs as you want using the PM zip. How do you create a PM zip? Well, it's just the reverse process. If we close this down just now, and we go up to File, and we say Export Songs to a PM zip, now we're seeing the list of songs which are currently in Power Music. We can either see it by the most recently used, or if we click on here, we get it in alphabetical order of title. Again, we can just select them all, or we can select individual ones. So I'll just select that one there. So I'm going to create a PM zip containing that one song. I click on export. I browse to where I want to save it. I'm going to put it into my documents. Let's put it in there. And you'll notice that the PM zip is automatically named using the date and time. And this is to avoid you accidentally overwriting any other PM zips. You can obviously rename them later once you've saved them. So we'll say next to that, creates the export file, exports the songs, exports the sheet music, progress bar shows it's finished, and we've now created that PM zip. And if we go into our documents, there is the PM zip we've just created with that title. And as I say, if you want to then rename that with a, a more friendly name, that's fine. PM zips can be moved between any computers running Power Music. So you could put that PM zip onto a USB stick, or you could email it to somebody, or you could put it in a share on the network and other people could get access to it.